everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanise, this is Livia and Lanise. I post travel, Disney, and lifestyle content on this channel, so if that's your vibe, click subscribe. So we're gonna skip past the whole spiel about me not vlogging for several months, being active on this channel, because I make up excuses all the time. So we're just gonna skate right past that and jump right into my new apartment tour. All right, let's just dive right in. So if you've been following me on my channel before my three month hiatus, you know that my boyfriend Christian and I were sort of traveling throughout the year. We went to Boston, we went to Florida, Massachusetts again, <laughs> and now we are back in upstate New York. So we are settled here permanently. Christian has a new job at the hospital. I'm still working from home, but we have our new apartment and it's slowly coming together. We still have some things that we want to set up, but I wanted to show you what it looks like now. And then when it is finally ready, I'll show you a more updated version, but I'm just so excited. I love our apartment and I want to share it with you. Okay. So this is the first thing you see when you enter the apartment. So literally there's this gigantic wall full of possibilities. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Uh, we were thinking of hanging up some paintings, maybe like one giant painting or maybe like four big paintings. But, you know, artwork is really expensive. So we have time. We're still thinking about that. We've only been here a little over a month. Um, and then again, like there's this giant wall here and then there's a small wall now that is not staying there that <laughs> I bought on Facebook ad and it was supposed to be a scam I, th I thought it was a scam like I didn't receive a receipt I didn't receive tracking information for the package or anything a lot of people said it was a scam so I just thought I lost my money because I couldn't fight it with the bank for some reason I don't want to get into details but um, I actually ended up getting it <laughs> And there was a lit and um, where the O was supposed to be, there are Velcro um, pieces to show you what season it is. So I did have a Velcro pumpkin, but Christian's sister was over here one night and she got really drunk and took my pumpkin and she won't give it back to me. <laughs> so I think I'll probably keep it until the Christmas season and I have like a Velcro um, Christmas tree that I might put on there. But it got water damaged. I don't know how, like it was wet when I opened the package, so it is peeling a little bit. And Christian told me not to keep it, so uh, it's not going to stay on there for long. I just really wanted it, and I spent $50 on it, so I want to get a little bit of my money's worth. And that ends the rant of the home sign. So this is the kitchen. It's extremely small, like this is it. So we have our fridge, a cute little picture of us in St. Augustine, Florida. Aren't we cute? And then the smallest cooking station ever. Got our flour. I got these jars from Dollar Tree. So $2 each. So that is flour and brown sugar. Got some cute little, you know, real cooking ingredients and then some olive oil. Our knife rack. We have all our magnets and pictures on the fridge. Got these towels from Target at the dollar section. And then so like Christian likes when you prop frames up instead of actually hanging it up. So his aunt gave this to us, I think one year for Christmas. So this is kind of like the wine section. So like I've got like uh, crackers in here that I got from Lake George. And I use this for um, like charcuterie boards. Um, this is a whiskey topper, although I'm not really sure how good this is because we've had it for I want to say several months or a year um, those are our wine glasses and wine charms nothing's up there this is all our cooking spices and everything condiments our sad pathetic dish rack area we do have a dishwasher but I need to get um, dishwasher pods I'm not sure if you can use like dish soap actually it says detergent I mean you probably could I just feel I, I don't know I just find it easier to hand wash it I don't even really like doing dishes but I just find it so much easier to just wash like the five dishes in the sink that we leave in at a time instead of just loading it up and using all that like resource the, the water resource so I just store a couple of extra dishes in there so yeah and our cleaning supplies are under here extra stuff and we gotta get like organization for our forks and spoons and stuff like that because that is not cute 
oh and then this is where i know it's not a pretty sight but this is where we like have to keep the trash can because our um kitchen is just so tiny so here is where the dining room is supposed to be so we're gonna end up getting a dining room table with at least four chairs christian found this really nice one it kind of like had a wrap around seat and then we just have this cute little tiny um framed artwork all the wine i mean that really should go where the wine is i kind of like that better so yeah painting going over there and then this is just an extra chair we have, but over on this wall, I wanna get like a multi-pictured like frame that says like family or whatever, and just put like multiple pictures of our family and friends in there. I think that'd be really cute. So this is like the overview of the living room. So that's where I work. I'm currently working on our old dining table, but I'm gonna get a computer desk. That's the balcony over there. And Christian just got home. That's his Jeep down there. But um, this is our balcony. Our chairs. We got the pumpkins out for fall. His other chair is cooler. So just set an overview of the parking lot. Got these curtains from Home Depot. This is our little movie theater section. <laughs> this is my favorite picture frame of us. Has all the cute little seashells and I'm gonna take these out at some point I just don't know what to put in there right now another area so we just got this entertainment stand I just I like it it's just shaped so weird because of like the horizontal narrow shelves but because it's the fall season I put like some of our fall pictures out that's actually over here too we got some fall pictures you can see and then the Target dollar section plants. That's what we live for. So yeah, our rest of the movies are in there. And this is just like the living room closet. Nothing special. Put some of our extra stuff in here. Our shoe rack. So, I mean, again, really nothing special. We put our um, Barcelona pictures up that we got out there. But yeah, <laughs> and then welcome to the bedroom. This is our favorite part of the bedroom, obviously. Our first king-sized bed. We literally went to Mattress Firm and like did a whole test and tested out mattresses and everything. It was the best time. But we're thinking of putting something over the bed. We don't know what yet, but it's not really important right now. This is Christian's computer desk his workspace. I've got some of our pictures out because I just don't know where to hang them up yet. We have an extra TV that I think we're gonna either put in storage or sell. Um, I have to get a dresser to put all my clothes away because I literally have nowhere to put my clothes. <laughs> They're just out like that. Christian's guitar is back there. And uh, yeah, see like Christian's, Christian has a dresser, but I have a lot of my stuff back there. And this is our living room area. I really, 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 really love how cozy and homey it is. Um, we've had the sectional for probably two years now. And when we used to have it before we traveled, it was actually separated because our old living room was shaped weird, so we couldn't put it together. But now we have the space to put the sectional together. So it's just this one large giant couch and then the matching ottoman and then we just threw a blanket over it. We got like the ottoman tray. And again, with the Target dollar spot <laughs> plant and our remotes and stuff, candles. We got the fall candles out right now. So this is apple cider donuts. We've got autumn air and warm pumpkin chai. And I didn't really talk about this area over here. There are some more Barcelona paintings. Um, another propped up art thing. I'm not really even sure where we got this. I'll have to ask Christian. Oogie Boogie just kind of hanging out because I really, I don't know where else to put him. And it was supposed to be just like a really nice 
like entryway table. I have like the fake flowers here and I have like my glass pumpkin and I'm supposed to have some treats in here. I got my, you know, rose gold bowl and plate. I mean, our keys would be in here, but you know, nothing else was supposed to be on here, but now it's kind of become Christian's like getting ready for work table. So he has his like backpack and pens and watches and badges and stuff like that and then we just like put our shoes there so i i don't know i, I want to figure out how to kind of clean it up we have to talk about like putting this somewhere it doesn't really really matter because it is just the two of us here most of the time but sometimes it's still annoying to look at so i hope you enjoyed that quick i think quick hopefully quick I hope you enjoyed that apartment tour. I'm really loving it. It's my most favorite apartment that we've ever lived in. We lived in some like shoddy apartments, you know, outdated, really small, musty. Um, so this is more updated. I mean, it could obviously do some more updates with like the cupboards and stuff, but like, um, and I kind of hate that it's like all carpet, but um, I really love how knew it still smells because like they repainted it um it's actually the smell is kind of fading away but like you know it's it's it feels new sort of it's actually really easy to clean um or to keep clean i should say so i'm really loving that <sighs> so it's just still good to be back home closer to our family and friends and uh complex we live in a complex it's actually pretty nice um expensive but nice and we're in an area where you know there's a lot of restaurants there's not really like a nice place to go and you like get dressed up and go to a restaurant but i mean you, you're not gonna really be bored in this area which is good so yeah we're just you know living our routine life so it's friday august no, august it's Friday, October 22nd, so tonight we are going to have a really fun date night, something we've never done. We are going axe throwing. I've always wanted to do this. I probably will not be very good at it because I have noodles for arms. <laughs> so I don't know how heavy the actual axe is. I don't know how far I'll be able to throw it. I don't know. I don't know if I'll chop a toe off. I hope I don't, but <laughs> we're gonna be there for at least an hour. That's how much we paid for. And then we're gonna go out to dinner or we'll have dinner there. If you end up liking this vlog, please let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you've ever been ax throwing before. Like, what was your experience like? If you've never been, would you consider doing it? And I'll see you in a bit. I'm gonna show you what is in this tree. I'm so scared. tonight's vlog i hope it came out well i don't think i really filmed it properly or got good shots i'm not sure but we'll see how it turns out got a little more drunk than anticipated but if you ended up liking it you know what to do thumbs up subscribe and i i